Good afternoon, I'm Mike Snyder with USA Today. It's my pleasure to host this panel today, which devoted to the upcoming PlayStation 3 game, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Deception. <laughs> lead, Amy Hinnick. She's the creative director. Next to her is Nolan North. I think you probably know. Emily Rose. And Richard McGonigal. Well, these aren't just voice actors, they're actors in Uncharted 3. We're going to give you a little idea about what they do and how they're helping create the game. Amy, tell us a little bit about what we're going to get to see here, you know, for the first time on video. Uh, we want to give you guys a little sneak peek into what we're working on. Uh, we're going to have exclusive local innovation reporters that's specific about this uh, cinematic scene that we have shown in the trailer. We're just going to show you about it. Sully, don't touch. <laughs> I didn't know that was you. All right, just tell me what you're really looking for. Uh, this? <laughs> Come here. Sully, check this out. I think we lost him. What do you got? It looks like we stumbled right into our secret entrance. Well, that's our girl. Well, not going down there without some hardware. Go talk to that rug merchant we just passed. Well, guns, weapons. He's not really a rug merchant. Oh, <laughs> right. Hey, just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? Yeah. All right, Seriously, what is all this crap Nathan, you're giving you me about Sully? with me? Those guys are not here for historical research, and neither are you. Th this is about that Marlowe woman, isn't it? <sighs> yes. But, look at this. I finally got it. And it's just like I said. That led to this. And this led us here. To a hole in the ground. Oh, it's a glamorous life. Come on, admit it. You love all this as much as I do. No. No, I'm not anymore. Really? Huh. Okay. Why don't you just uh, walk away? Oh, me? Me? Walk away. Haha. <laughs> That's funny. Shotguns? What? Come on, you only have two. I'm sitting at this. of what we do is about it's kind of nuance and humor and about what's going on with the characters and you're not going to get that working with an actor alone in the booth recording their lines in isolation and it's just common sense and it's something that I'm it's I'm so glad that our industry is finally sort of coming around to to realizing that you know acting is reacting and it's about getting them together and playing the scene and getting to know their characters and getting to own their characters. And the reason the characters are the way they are is because they've inhabited them. I can hear the voices in my head even when I don't want to. It's just such a wonderful process for all of us. And I, and I, and I think it comes out on the screen. And, and it is just because I think what we're valuing, as opposed to just saying, yes, we're going to get this done, and here's a production schedule. So we want it to be awesome. And we want it to be warm and about the characters um, and, and have some human truths in it, some vulnerability. And I think uh, it's a real credit both to their performances and what the animators do with it afterwards, um, and what Taylor does with it afterwards to say, um, to see that nuance come out. On our mocap stage, we have just our actors and just, you know, this amazing story, and they're able to literally, you know, be in this space, inhabit this space, and play with each other, and, and look each other in the eye, and, and every single take is different. Every time we do a scene, it's completely different. These uh, actors have really become 
the characters that, uh, uh, that, that Amy has written. I mean, we've, we've all sort of collaborated and made these characters. We all know these characters like they're real people. And, and, and they're able to just get in there and, 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 and really be in the space and be in the moment. And I think that's what you see up on the screen. We're always trying to do uh, what we call the uh, active cinematic experience. We want to uh, make people feel like they are playing a movie. One of the things that makes our game stand out from a lot of others is we've heard dozens, if not hundreds of people tell us, I loved playing your game and my wife, husband, girlfriend, partner, friends, dog, loved watching me play it. We don't <laughs> look good in these. No. <laughs> If any of you are wearing glasses, this will look a lot better without them. <laughs> uh, should we... I believe I was retaining water. I have never seen no. that before. I feel, I feel like someone just walked in the bathroom on me. And <laughs> now, I, now I know why you didn't show that yeah. to us first. Yeah. We well, need to get paid a lot. <laughs> That's not we a can, break in a bowel movement. That's, <laughs> or maybe it is. No it, was, it was Sully in a bowel movement. <laughs> What's it like filming that scene? How do you prepare for it? And how does it kind of compare to other work you've done? The best way that I describe it is, if you remember everybody when you were a kid, how old are you? 13. You remember when you were 13? <laughs> I can give you all kinds of actor speak and like, oh, it's a moment and you just find the focus, you're imagine it's imagination. It's, it's you're a kid. I mean, you saw us up there. I mean, we laugh more than you can imagine. They really have created this environment for us to feel, to feel safe to be stupid like that. <laughs> We get to play a lot, and uh, the original title of actors were players, and we are definitely players. We have a really good time doing this, and I mean, you know, we go out there in those silly suits, and we look at each other in these silly suits, and if you don't crack up then, you're not going to. We just run around and have a good time, and, and we're given great scripts by Amy to play with, and, uh, and we have a lot of leeway in the, within the scripts to uh, play with it, however it will work for us and it's the best job I've ever had. Of course I'm an actor, I'm glad to have any job. <laughs> <clears throat> the amount of stories from the office where these people put this game together, which I liken to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, you don't know how they make the chocolate, but you love to eat it. And um, the game doesn't focus on what we do as much as who we all are and the interaction. And I think, personally, that is what makes this game so special. Oh, um, so that obviously won't be released uh, until uh, November 1st, um, but uh, it will be out there. So I uh, hope you all uh, pick it up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you guys have been a great crowd. Thanks for coming. Let's give our uh, panel one more hand. Thank you. Have a good rest of Comic-Con. Thanks for coming.